Roger Stone was treated horribly. Roger Stone was treated very unfairly. Roger Stone was brought into this witch hunt, this whole political witch hunt. President Trump defending his decision to commute the prison sentence of his longtime friend and advisor, Roger Stone. This comes as the president faces blowback from both parties over the move. Joining us now is John Bussey, an associate editor at The Wall Street Journal and a Fox News contributor. John, good to see you. I talked to a lot of people uh, over the past few days who know both the president and Roger Stone. I get the sense that there was no way, no how, that the president was ever going to let Stone go to jail. But why do you think it was a commutation and not a pardon in this case. Well, the president had signaled that he was going to do something kind of early on. This was a friend of his. His friend had protected him uh, in his own testimony. Um, and the president uh, signaled that, you know, he felt that he was unjustly uh, prosecuted and he was mm -hmm. going to take care of him. Uh, the pardon uh, would have essentially exonerated the felony conviction. This allows Roger Stone to continue the appeal. Hard to say whether or not Roger Stone's whether he's going to do that or not. So it's going to cost him a lot of money to clear his name or to attempt to clear his name. Uh, he's going to have a hard time doing that. This is a charge that and a conviction that even the Attorney General Barr has said was, in his own words, righteous. And, and I'm wondering if the commutation might have been a compromise with Barr. He also said uh, that the sentence was appropriate. Uh, he went to bat politically. He uh, expended some political capital getting the sentencing guidelines for Stone reduced. So do you think there might have been some compromise here? Could have been. Uh, hard to say. Uh, no matter what, this was going to be immensely controversial. Uh, this was a person who was convicted of lying to Congress obstructing justice, uh, tampering with a witness. Uh, this was done by the Mueller investigation. Effectively, Barr had already succeeded in getting the sentencing guidelines reduced. Uh, maybe this was a, a deal between Barr and the president, but the act itself has already drawn, of course, condemnation from the Democratic side of the Senate, uh, but Not even surprising. from a couple of Republicans, which is unusual for the president to get to get blowback from his allies in the Senate. Yeah, Senator Pat Toomey of uh, Pennsylvania was critical, but uh, Senator Mitt Romney of Utah, who obviously is no fan of the president, lying to shield that very president. A a as you pointed out, uh, people of the same party typically defend a president's right to commute the sentence or pardon who whoever they want because it's right there in Article II of the Constitution. They have the power to do it. Uh, why do you think this is drawing so much fire? Well, I think the presidents have, in the past, had controversial pardons. Um, this one, you know, looks like a payoff, um, like something kind of out of a mafia book, where if you protect me, I'll take care of you down the road. Uh, and because it had the sanctioning of the attorney general, it's even more problematic for the president. Now, whether mm -hmm. or not this politically blows back on him, it's kind of hard to say. Uh, we're still far off from the election. Uh, but you're going to see also... Probably this is going to come up in detail in uh, any kind of testimony that Mueller now does before mm -hmm. the Judiciary Committee in the Senate, which is something that Lindsey Graham says he's going to call for. Yes, we don't know if or when Mueller will, uh, will go up there and testify before uh, Senator Graham's committee, but uh, it certainly will be interesting to watch. John Bussey, as always, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us this Pleasure. morning.